man. I can't believe it. You know, I demand a rematch. You and me here Wednesday night. See, the problem with you is you've got no style, no oh, technique. Man. It's all in the wrists and the legs, B. You know, you're all about luck. So you're all about luck, Mike. You know, I heard you even lucked into a new job at the same company I work for, right? Yep. This golden wrist start installing insulation on Monday. And luck had nothing to do with it. Oh. I'm good. I'm strong. <laughs> See you next time, Pete. Good game. Yeah, take care, Alonzo. Later, Mike. Better luck next time, Joe. Hey, so you're good, huh? Ever done insulation work before? Ah, a little. You know Mr. Lomas, the contractor? Mm -hmm. I helped him out a couple of times. I know what I'm doing. Oh, really? So do you know how to dress right for the job? What do you mean, like put a sweatshirt on when it's cold? Not exactly. Now you know I've been doing insulation work for years. Yeah, so? Well, so I could see where you might need a little friendly advice before Monday. For example, you've got to dress right, and you've got to follow a few simple work practices when you handle insulation. Like? Well, like what do you do if you get insulation fibers on your skin? Ah, it's easy. You just brush them off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, smart guy. How? Uh, thing? Like I said, you could use a little friendly advice. Now, one way to get rid of fibers penetrating your skin is to use a little cellophane tape or adhesive tape and bah, no more, no more fiber. Now, another way is to simply wash your hands with soap and water if it's available. Now, what do you do if you get fibers in your eyes? Take two aspirin and call you in the morning. <laughs> yeah, real funny. Now, do you want to know why? Yeah, yeah, tell me. All right. If you get fibers in your eye, rule number one, just like with any other dust, don't rub your eye. All right. Rule number two, flush your eyes with lots of water or use eye wash if you have it. And finally, if the irritation continues, check with a doctor. Better yet, wear eye protection and you shouldn't have to worry about stuff in your eye. Got it. So what's this about the, uh, the right clothes? Well, it's no big deal, but you know, working on a job site with insulation or other construction materials, things can get dusty. So protect your health by reducing dust as much as you can. And you'll be more comfortable, too. You know, less itch. Yeah? How? Huh. Well, let's start with what you wear on the job. Now, take it from a pro. When you're working with insulation, clothes can make a difference. Make sure you wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothes and long sleeves and long pants to help keep down the itch. You see, I usually wear my old jeans and a work shirt. But don't tape your sleeves and pants at the wrist and ankles. Now, oh, come on. What I wear, does it really matter? Oh, yeah, smart guy. Well, let me give you an example. We're both outstanding athletes, right? Well, I certainly am. I mean, what about <laughs> you? Okay, then. Well, just like an athlete wears the right gear to help him perform well and avoid injury, when we're working, we should wear the right clothes so we can do the best job possible and avoid problems. Now, you know, think about it. We wear the right shoes to play basketball, and in the summer, when we play baseball, we all wear batting helmets. And we wear batting helmets because you can't pitch worth a darn. Exactly. So if I throw a wild pitch and hit you in the head, you're protected, right? I guess. It's the same thing with wearing the right clothes on the job site. You can't predict where construction debris, dust, or fibers are going to go, just like my wild pitch. So it's a good idea to protect yourself. You know, when you put it that way, it really does make a lot of sense. What else? Look, let's... Let's see. Now, another good idea when you're working with insulation overhead is to wear a head cover. Like I said before, eye protection is a good idea. Check these out. I wear them all the time. It keeps fibers and dust out of my eyes. And see these side shields? Extra protection and comfort. Right. What do you think? I think you should try wearing them during our next game. Maybe to help your shooting. <laughs> or your pitching. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now. Gloves. Gloves are a good idea, too. Just another good way to keep dust and fibers off your skin. And remember what I said about working in a dusty environment? Well, wearing one of these will make the job a whole lot more comfortable by reducing irritation. What's that? It's a dust mask, or to be more technical, it's called a respirator. Don't tell me you've never seen one of these before. Folks wear them all the time for all sorts of construction jobs, not just insulation. They help protect you from all kinds of dust on the job, just like that helmet protects your head. Anyway, these are N95 NIOSH certified two-strap disposable respirators. Sounds impressive, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my last pack, but look, why don't you have it? Most contractors make these available at the job site. 
our boss does, and he'll show you the right way to wear it so you're protected from dust and you're comfortable. He'll also tell you which jobs are a must for wearing one of these, like when you're blowing loose fill insulation. Clothes, glasses, gloves, dust mask. Seems pretty simple. Yeah, it's easy. And it's all spelled out in this free booklet from the North American Insulation Manufacturers Association. Now, the boss will give you one next week, but hey, since you're just a rookie, why don't you take mine? Yeah. Thanks. The North American Insulation Manufacturers Association. Name them. Cool? Good. Let's go. All right. A couple of things and we're done. OK, what else? OK, here's some final tips. Wash your work clothes separate from your other stuff, since you might have fibers on your work clothes. You know, just put them through a regular wash cycle. And, and when you're... And when you're working with insulation, always remember to wash your hands before you eat, smoke, or use the restroom. You know, just another way to keep from itching. Got it. Oh, last but not least, to cut down on dust and fibers in the air. Well, to cut down on dust and fibers in the air, keep the insulation in the packaging for as long as possible. And whenever you can, choose tools that generate less dust. For instance, a sharp knife, you know, that cuts clean and produces less dust than a dull knife. And never tear or rip the insulation by hand. Oh, and try to keep your work area clean to cut down on dust. And so you don't have to handle scrap materials more than necessary. Put it in waste disposal container, like a trash bag or a trash can. OK, sounds easy enough. No, I think that's about it. I think that little booklet I gave you will help you remember, and it will give you more specific advice for different insulation applications, like pipe insulation, fireproofing, blowing loose fill, and more. Thanks, Joe. I really appreciate the advice. Yes! I, I, I can't believe you made that shot! On behalf of NEMA, the North American Insulation Manufacturers Association, I hope you've enjoyed watching Play It Smart, Play It Safe. As an insulation professional, you already know the many important benefits that fiberglass, rock wool, and slag wool insulation products provide to homes, commercial buildings, and industrial facilities. Benefits like enhanced comfort, reduced operating costs, and reduced pollution. The Play It Smart, Play It Safe video is designed to make sure that you also know the safe way to handle these products to maximize your safety and comfort. Being smart on the job means you should follow recommended work practices for fiberglass, rock wool, and slag wool insulation products. Your employer must comply with OSHA's hazard communication standard, respiratory protection standard, and other relevant regulations and keep you informed of OSHA's requirements. Work practice recommendations and other health information can be found on product labels, on manufacturers' material safety data sheets, and in the new Health and Safety Partnership Program, or HSPP. NEMA and its member companies have created Play It Smart, Play It Safe as part of the HSPP, a voluntary cooperative partnership between NEMA the U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and key contractor organizations. 
the HSPP consolidates and improves existing industry work practice recommendations and is endorsed by OSHA. The general work practice recommendations covered in Play It Smart, Play It Safe apply to all work involving fiberglass, rock, and slag wool products and cover the broad categories of general housekeeping, engineering controls, personal protection, and cleanup. Now let's take a few minutes to review. Wear appropriate clothing. Choose comfortable, loose-fitting clothes. Long sleeves and long pants are recommended. Protective head cover and eye protection, like safety glasses, are especially important when working with material overhead. Know the most effective ways to remove fibers. If fibers penetrate your skin, use cellophane tape to pull the fibers out. Don't rub your eyes if you get fibers in them. Just flush with water or eye wash and see a doctor if the irritation doesn't go away. Minimize dust. Keep insulation in the packaging as long as practical. Choose tools that generate the least amount of dust. Keep your work area clean and free of scrap material. Place scrap material in a waste disposal container. Don't use compressed air for cleanup unless no other method is available. And if compressed air is used, make sure you follow proper procedures. Protect your health when working in dusty environments. The HSPP recommends an N95 NIOSH certified two-strap disposable dust respirator whenever the exposure limit or PEL of one fiber per cc is exceeded. It also lists specific work tasks where respiratory protection should be worn. Some of the tasks when respirators should be worn include blowing loose fill insulation in attics, spraying mineral fiber fireproofing, and removing insulation during significant repair or demolition. Be sure to have your mask properly fitted and store it properly to avoid getting fibers inside. Visit OSHA's website at www.osha.gov to learn about its respiratory protection standard. Finally, maintain adequate ventilation. Use dust collection systems where appropriate and feasible. And remember to regularly check and maintain ventilation systems. In addition to these general work practices, NEMA, OSHA, and key contractor organizations have developed work practice recommendations that apply to specific job tasks, such as blowing insulation into attics, fabricating pipe, board, and other products, and product removal. This free booklet available from NEMA is designed to help you remember both the general and specific job task recommendations. Hello, I'm Charles Jeffress, head of OSHA. We are pleased to be working with NEMA and the Health and Safety Partnership Program to help reduce worker exposures to synthetic mineral fibers. This partnership among NEMA, the National Insulation Association, the Insulation Contractors Association of America, and OSHA is about work practices and employer responsibilities. Under the partnership, your employer needs to make sure that the air you breathe contains less than an average of one fiber per cubic centimeter. Your employer also needs to provide you with well-fitting respirators whenever you perform tasks where airborne fibers are likely to be a concern. NEMA has stepped forward to take responsibility for coordinating the entire program. So you may see NEMA and industry representatives at your job site, taking air samples or providing training. OSHA salutes the innovators at NEMA, NIA, and ICAA for proposing a plan to achieve worker health benefits without going through the formal process of federal regulation. We look forward to the success of this partnership in reducing your risk of skin and eye irritation and the potential risk of respiratory damage. We urge you, for your own good health, to take special care to handle mineral fibers safely. Remember, workplace safety and health gives you the home court advantage. This program is brought to you by NEMA, 
the North American Insulation Manufacturers Association, a group of manufacturers of fiberglass, rock wool, and slag wool insulation products. Follow the health and safety practices you've just seen and read the accompanying literature. We want you to work safely and comfortably. For a complete list of NEMA members or for more information, contact NEMA through their website, www.nema.org, or at the address shown at the end of this program.